Hey guys, today we are going to look at writing systems of equations from graphs and tables. So we're going to answer the question, how do I write and solve a system of equations from real world problems involving graphs and tables? So to write a system of equations, we need to look at each linear equation separately to determine the slope and the y intercept. And then after writing the equation in slope intercept form, we will convert the equations to standard form if necessary. So we're going to start out with slope and y intercept. And then the solution to a system is the ordered pair that makes both of the linear equations true. So let's look at this first one. It says write the system of equations in standard form and determine the solution. So I can see the solution right away. It is the point where they intersect and it looks like that point is negative 2, 4. So we have the solution, now we need to write the equations of the system in standard form. So let's look at one equation at a time. Let's look at this line with a positive slope first. So my y-intercept of that equation is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the slope, Let's draw another perfect point and find the slope. The slope would be 1 over 2. So that means that the equation is y equals 1 half x plus 5. So now I just need to convert this to standard form. So I'm going to subtract 1 half x from both sides. And I get negative 1 half x plus y equals 5. And then last step to put this in standard form is make sure that a is a positive whole number. So I'm going to multiply this whole equation by negative 2 to accomplish that. And I get x minus 2y equals negative 10. So there is the first equation in standard form. Now I need to convert this second negative line, need to write it in slope intercept form and then convert it to standard form. So let's start with the y intercept, it is 1, and then the slope is negative, and if I find another point, looks like the rise is 3 and the run is 2, so negative 3 halves. So the equation in slope intercept form is y equals negative 3 halves x plus 1. So to convert it to standard form, I'm going to add 3 halves x to both sides. And I get 3 halves x plus y equals 1. And then to convert this to final standard form, I just need to change a to a whole number. So I'm going to multiply by the denominator of 2. And I get 3x plus 2y equals 2. So I have the solution. It was negative 2, 4. And then that system in standard form was x minus 2y equals 10. x minus 2y equals negative 10. And then the second equation was right here, 3x plus 2y equals 2. So there's the solution and the system of that graph in standard form. Okay, let's look at number two. It says write the system of equations in standard form and determine the solution. So I need two things to write a, an equation of a line. I need a slope and a point. So I don't have the slope of either table, so let's start by finding the slope. So I'm going to do table A in blue. And to find the slope of that, I will do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that would be 6 minus 0 all over 4 minus 2. So 6 over 2, which is 3. So I have the slope, it's 3. Now I just need to find the y-intercept. So I'm going to plug in to y equals mx plus b. And I'm just going to use the first point. It does not matter what point I use to plug in for x and y. So I'm going to replace y with 0, 
I found the slope it was 3 and the x volume using is 2 plus b. So 0 equals 6 plus b and then I would subtract 6 and get negative 6 equals b. So I have the slope, it is 3. I have the y-intercept, it's negative 6, so I can write it in slope-intercept form. It'd be y equals 3x minus 6. I am not done because it wants me to write the equations in standard form. So let's convert this to standard form by subtracting 3x. And I get negative 3x plus y equals negative 6. And then I'm going to multiply this whole equation by negative 1. And I get 3x minus y equals negative 6. Or positive 6 because I multiplied by a negative 1. So there is the first equation for A in standard form. Now I need to go through the same process for line B. So I'm going to start by finding the slope. Here's x1, y1, oops, x1 and y1, and then x2 and y2. So it'll be 6 minus 5 all over 4 minus 2. So 1 over 2 for the slope. And now I need to determine the y-intercept, so I'm going to plug into y equals mx plus b. And I'm just going to use the first point for x and y. So it'll be 5 equals, I found the slope, it was 1 half, times the x value is 2 plus b. So 5 equals 1 plus b. So if I subtract 1, I get 4 equals b. So I have the y-intercept, I have the slope, so I can write it in slope-intercept form. It would be y equals 1 half x plus and now I just need to convert this to standard form, so I'm going to subtract 1 half x from both sides. And I get negative 1 half x plus y equals 4. And now I just need to turn a into a positive whole number. So I'm going to multiply by a negative 2 to accomplish that. And I get x minus 2y equals negative 8. So now I have both of the equations in standard form. Line A was 3x minus y equals 6. And then line B was x minus 2y equals negative 8. And then it also wanted us to determine the solution, which I can see from the table what that common ordered pair is. They both have the ordered pair of 4, 6. And the other ordered pairs are not the same, so that must be where they are intersecting at. And they had different slopes, so I know it's just one solution. So the solution there was 4, 6. Okay, let's look at number 2. Isaiah goes to the movies a lot, so he buys a membership to his local theater for $20 and pays $5 for each movie after. His friend Gabe does not buy a membership and just pays $10 for each movie. What is the system of equations in slope-intercept form to represent this situation? So the two things that we are talking about here are Isaiah and Gabe. So let's see if we can write an equation for each of them. So Isaiah, it says he buys a membership for $20. That sounds like a y-intercept to me. And he pays $5 for each movie after. That sounds like a slope. So Isaiah's equation would be y equals 5x plus 20. He bought that $20 membership and then paid $5 for each movie after. Now let's see if we can write an equation for Gabe. It says that Gabe does not buy the membership, so no initial value for Gabe, and just pays $10 for each movie after. That sounds like a slope. 
So Gabe's equation would be y equals 10x. So let's go ahead and graph this now. I'm going to start with Isaiah's. His y-intercept was 20, and then we need to be careful because the y-axis is counting by tens. So if the slope is 5, that means I just go up halfway and over 1. Up halfway over 1. Okay, there is the line to represent the cost of movies for Isaiah. And then Gabe's is 10x, so he starts at the origin. And then the slope is 10, so he's going to go up 10 over 1. Up 10 over 1. Alright, there is Gabe's line. So the question says, graph the system to determine the solution, which we just did, and what does the solution mean? So they intersect right here at 440. That is the solution. So if you notice before that point, Gabe is paying less, and after that point, he's paying more. So that is the point when their movies will cost the same. After four movies, they both will pay $40. After four movies, they both pay $40. All right, let's look at four. It says Jackson and Caden have decided to start a lucrative business selling slime. The table shows their pricing based on how many jars you choose to purchase. What is the equation to represent Jackson's price to buy slime? And then what is the equation to represent Caden's price to buy slime? And then they want us to determine the solution. So let's start with Jackson. I'm gonna do his in blue. So I need two things to write my equation. I need the slope and then I need the y-intercept. So let's start by finding the slope. I'm just going to use the first two points. This would be x1, x2, y1, and y2. So it's going to be 12 minus 4 over 3 minus 1. And that is 8 over 2, which simplifies to 4. So the slope is 4, and then I need the y-intercept, which I don't have in this table, but I think I can figure it out because I know the slope is 4, so that means it's going up 4 each time. So if I go backwards and I subtract 4, then the y-intercept would be 0. That would follow the pattern of the slope. So the slope is 4 and then the y-intercept is zero. So Jackson's equation would be y equals 4x. Okay, now let's do Caden's equation. I'm gonna do his in pink. So I need to start by finding the slope. Here's x1, y1, x2, and y2. So it'll be 11 minus 10 over two minus one. So 11 minus 10 all over 2 minus 1 is 1 over 1 or 1. So the slope is just 1, and then let's see if we can determine the y-intercept. So they don't give us when the x value is 0, but I can use the slope and go backwards. So the slope is going up by 1, so if I go backwards here, I would subtract 1 and get 9. So the y-intercept is 9. So that means that Caden's equation would just be y equals x plus 9. And then it says, what is the solution to the system of equations and what does it mean? So we could solve this with substitution or elimination, this system. Let's look and see if the solution is in the table first, though. And I believe it is. They both have the point 312. And that means after three jars of slime, they both cost $12. So the solution is 312. And it means after three jars, they both cost 
they both cost $12.